Ok, we're coming up to our planet. You would have already scanned the system and found a planet with rings. Ideally, use an EDDB, which is an app or is another program on your computer, to find a pristine ring. You'll notice the surface scanner now says too fast. Uh, imagination is needed here. You have to understand we haven't scanned this, although it's already been scanned. You shoot one probe into the ring. It'll hit the ring. And when it does, you will get a band going all the way around which will show you hotspots which are these as you can see we have low temperature diamonds alexandrite more low temps I would advise for void opals you're going to get a mix anyway but the majority should be void opal a good tip is to come in so you're pointing at the planet that way you always know which way you're going so you're not coming back on yourself always head towards the planet when you do it this way it's a simple little trick and it means you don't go back on yourself and scan rocks that have already been scanned we drop in or crash in it's up to you minor damage my case crash in now it's not a bug as such but you will always get a pilot scan you when you drop in when you've only got limpets they're gonna leave you alone if by any chance you don't know you may be sitting with your tea and then we log back and you have a hold full of stuff you're going to either have to hope you've got the lasers or any sort of defense or you can use silent running and heat sinks to run from them. I'm in the clipper because it's very fast and very, very cold, which means it's hard to find. And with silent running, you can literally get by them. Well, that's not what this is about. So night vision is required. It makes it slightly easier in the dark. Scan detected. You're on your pulse wave. There we go. I'm being scanned by Mad Mac McCurdy. He's going to say there's nothing in me hold. There we go. Scan will soon be over. Ah, humbug, nothing. So, you start scanning. And bingo. First rock, look for the intense brightness. When you get closer, you might, as you can see, it's made of squares. The closer you get, you'll see red in it. That's a good indication there's something there. Programming limpet drone. See the prospect of limp without it. Make sure you're low enough speed so you don't overtake the limpet and it crashes out. Prospect limpet engaged. So. Asteroid scan detected. complete. As soon as you lay a seismic charge, the timer starts. And you're looking for that icon which shows fissures. And you have low average and high strength fissures high strength fissures you'll keep your finger down longer so you drill further into the rock to start the mini game off like that detonation sequence initiated top right you can see the yellow bars jumping up and down there's a blue segment and above that a red if you go into the red it will blow but you will not get the full amount out of it so this little mini game can be a pain sometimes this is average strength so i'm gonna try not enough gotta look for one more 
see what that is. Average strength, this should do it. Too much. Now you go to contact, disarm one of your charges, which will drop the, the top right from below the red. Seismic charge disarmed. There we go. So now hit the bit in, and we have perfect. Come draw back. go to our left panel, we go to one of the asteroid fissures that will have charging, Dead detonation now. in 10 seconds. I'm going to lower my cargo scoop, well, cargo oh, scoop deployed. Now it's all about these two. Programming limpet drone. Two limpets to collect. Programming limpet drone. They will automatically zoom them off and get the particles that have let loose from the explosion. The other ones, which you can see, the ones solid blue mean they're in front of you, and the dotted ones mean that they are behind the rock, and you're going to need to use your abrasion blaster for that. You find one, you center it, you shoot, and it loosens, and it's rinse and repeat. Try not to get your ship into the middle of the asteroid, although it does seem easier to get some of the rocks, stay on the outside, because you will lose many limpets as they shoot out they shoot in a downward motion which means they're likely to hit a rock give them space i just got shot the seismic charge because i'm an idiot they say that you have to be within a kilometer for that's it the abrasion blast that they wear So we've got many, many to pick up. My limit can only hold two at once, so if you buy a larger one or have it engineered so you can carry one more limit, all the better. It just saves you a little bit of time, but you will get the job done this way. And if you use ADDB when it comes to the point of selling, you will get the best price for them. Find out, use an ADB TV where the best price is for whatever you have the majority of by the time you're finished. Even if it's 20 jumps away, I advise you do it. Unfortunately, if you're in a faction, the prices may be very low at your station and you could be losing out on potentially 25 million upwards. That is a simple tutorial on mining.